In this video we will see how to create a progress bar that can show progress while running a macro. To get started, click Visual Basic on the Developer tab of the ribbon to open the VBE. Then click Insert to create a module. In this module we will create a procedure and then see the progress of its execution via a progress bar. The for loop is repeated here 8000 times. Each time the loop is repeated, the variable i is automatically increment by 1 and then assigned to cell a1. When you try this code without the VBA do events function, you will notice that it is impossible to interact with the Excel window. But, if you add the do events line under the range assignment and run this code again, you will see that Excel is now responsive. Now insert a user form to show the progress. We need two labels. So, insert the first label in the desired location. In the label 1 property, delete the caption. Next, change the background color to white. Scroll down and look for special effect, then click the drop down list and select sunken. After that, insert the second label, cover the first label and repeat the same steps. In the Label 2 Properties window, remove the caption, change the background color to green or any color you want, and select Raised from the Special Effect drop-down list. Select User Form 1, then change the Show Model property to False. Double-click the module to write the code. Call the User Form first before starting the task. We then calculate the progress through the macro, and what width the progress bar should be at. This is entered inside the loop so after each row of the loop, the user is aware of the macro progress. The current progress is calculated by dividing the variable i by the total number of rounds which is 8000. If the variable i is equal to 5400, then you divide 5400 by 8000 which gives 0 0.675 via the macro. Once we know this we can find out what width the progress bar, or just label 2, should be by multiplying the width of label 1 by this value. Now we want to display the progress values. So let's go back to the user form and insert another label. In the label 3 properties, click font and change the size, style and font. You can also choose the left position of the label if necessary. And finally, adjust the height of the user form. We then calculate the progress as a percentage by multiplying the current progress value by 100. This result is assigned to user form 1.label3.caption, i.e. it will be displayed in the label 3 caption. You notice that this calculation produces an infinite number of decimal places. If you want to display exactly one decimal point, use the format function. The VBA format function applies a specified format to an expression and returns the result as a string. Hashtag displays a digit or nothing. A dot works as the decimal placeholder. Zero displays a digit or zero. You can use the ampersand to concatenate the string returned by the format function to percent completed. Finally we will add two lines of code. Unload.userform1 closes the user form. And beep to emit a system beep to inform the user that the macro execution is complete. Let's run this code to see the final result. 